Let's balance the redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus I minus gives us I2 plus Mn2 plus. We're going to use the ion electron method, and this is an acidic medium. So the first thing we do, we write the oxidation numbers for each element. I've already done that. If you need help writing oxidation numbers, there's a link at the end of this video and in the description. Next, we want to write the half reactions for the species of interest. These are the ones whose oxidation states have changed. That'll look like this. So we can see the manganese went from plus 7 to plus 2. This number got smaller. That's being reduced. The iodine went from negative 1 to 0. 0 is larger than negative 1. This is our oxidation half reaction. Now we can balance each of these half reactions. So up here we have manganese and manganese. We're not going to worry about the oxygen right now. Down here we have the iodide atom, but two iodine atoms here. So why don't we put a 2 as our coefficient? That balances the atoms. Now for the oxygen atoms, we can add water. After all, this is taking place in aqueous medium, so we'll have water. So I have four oxygens here. Let's add four water molecules. So four times the one, that gives us four oxygens. Those are balanced. For the hydrogen atoms, we're going to add hydrogen ions to balance those. This takes place in acidic medium, so we have hydrogen ions available. Four times two is eight, so let's add eight H plus over here. That balances the hydrogens. No hydrogens down here. So now we're going to balance the half reactions for charge by adding electrons. This up top's a little bit more challenging. We have 8 plus and 1 minus. So we have a 7 plus over here, 2 plus over here. So if we add 5 negative charges, 5, 8 plus, the negative, that'll all give us a total of a positive 2 here and a positive 2 here. For the iodine, we have 2 negative charges here, and this is neutral. So let's add 2 electrons over here that would balance the charge. At this point, we need to balance the overall equation for electrons. Think of it this way. All of this right here, these are the reactants, and all of these over here, these are the products. We have five electrons in the reactants and only two in the products, so that's not balanced. What we can do is we need to multiply, let's see, if we did this by two, that would give us 10, and multiplied all of this by five, that would give us 10 electrons here. So we'd have balanced the charge. Since we're just changing the ratio, that's OK. So we're going to now add the half reactions and simplify. So basically what we're doing is 2 times all of this and 5 times this. Those are the reactants. The products over here, 2 times all of this, 5 times all of this. That looks like this. So this is the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus I minus. What we do now is we need to simplify because we have 10 electrons here in the reactants and 10 in the products. We can get rid of those, but everything else is unique. Let me clean this up a little bit. So this is the final balanced redox reaction and we can check our work. If you add all the charge up over here, 16 plus, 2 minus, 10 minus, this gives us a 4 plus here. 2 times 2 plus is 4 plus. If you count the atoms up, they're the same as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for MnO4 minus plus I minus yields I2 plus Mn2 plus. Thanks for watching.